as long as I can remember, I've loved sailing. And while my buddies played football or baseball, I messed about in boats. And although we spend much of our time traveling in our 37-foot fifth-wheel camper, we decided almost two years ago to find a sailboat large enough to live on, small enough to sail single-handed or short-handed, and capable enough to handle any kind of waters we chose to sail. We had sold our stick house more than a year earlier. The boat would be our home on the water. The Richie is empty. So our video died while we were inside the boat. 28 degrees, we just knocked off a bunch of snow on this tartan from the yeah. canopy. I'm sorry you, you can't see the inside in the snow. But... We wanted a fiberglass boat from a top designer, preferably from the 1980s, the golden age of fiberglass. We wanted something with character, meaning a teak interior, and a relatively shallow keel for river and coastal cruising. We looked at countless boats, bid on and lost several good ones, but the first boat we fell for ended up being the boat we chose, a 1982 Morgan 383, 38 feet long, and most importantly, a freshwater boat that had spent most of its life on the Great Lakes. Before we even knew if our offer would be accepted, we went looking for a slip to moor our future boat, whatever it might be. After several rounds of negotiations, our offer on the Morgan was accepted, and on a cold, windy March weekend, we headed for Michigan to inspect the boat and have it professionally surveyed, a critical requirement when purchasing any used boat. When I'll be coming home I plan to let you know The longing of my heart The wish I carry high Whenever we're apart It takes me through the night It's like a maze. <laughs> look at these sailboats. When I look deep into your eyes. Is that it? Oh, it's the Morgan. When I'll be coming. <laughs> John.
You like it? <laughs> you like it, don't you? Yeah. I, like it. I think this. Uh, I think this is our future. One month later, I returned to Pentwater, Michigan, to get the boat ready for transport back to our home waters on the St. Croix River in Minnesota. Can you hear me when I reach you? Is it like a charm, or is it an alarm? What do you say? Can you bear me when I'm naked? In the night, when I close my eyes, I'm out of my mind. When you kill the light, I'm going out of my mind. Is it like a charm, or is it an alarm? What do you say? In the night, when I close my eyes, motion in the ocean. Very motion. Just a little push up.
followed tradition and placed coins on the mast step before raising the 53-foot mast. We officially changed her name to Ampersand, the name of the AND symbol, because now we had two homes, our fifth-wheel camper named Farniente and our sailboat named Ampersand.